at it, Holly. Look at it's it. So... Good, beautiful morning. How are you all feeling today? Whoa. Hope you're feeling fresh and well and beautiful on this fine, snowy morning. Look at it. So it is our last day here in Inverness today. We've woke up, well, we tried to wake up early. It didn't work. It's about 10 o'clock now. We've got to check out of the hotel in about two hours. So we're gonna go for a little stroll in the snow and see if we can get some breakfast. And then we've still got to book stuff for tonight and hopefully hire a car. And I hope it's all right to hire a car and drive in these treacherous conditions. But first of all, I need some food for my belly. All right, so we've chose to go in the same place where we went yesterday. Hopefully they do, oh, the snow, the snow is pretty heavy. Isn't it, Holly? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get some brekkie. So Holly's gone for? Avocado and mushroom on an English muffin. That looks pretty amazing. It tastes pretty amazing. And I've gone for a croissant with bacon and marmalade. Never had bacon and marmalade before. I like bacon with most things. Marmalade, haven't tried it. It's my first time. Well, the verdict on my bacon marmalade croissant was amazing, but expensive. It was five quid for that one little one, where I would have rather had two for that price. But we couldn't have, you know, picked anything else to eat, apart from pancakes and fresh fruit. Again, not much fresh fruit. Yeah, that doesn't seem too much fruit. At least we kind of got a bit each. So Holly, mm -hmm. what would you say restaurant review for So Coco? I think the food was excellent. It's a little small. Great place to take your nap with a little appetite. Like, good food. <laughs> I'd say really good food. Small portions. Expensive. That's my overall Lattie review. Was Holly's latte was, yeah, that's the thing. The food and drinks <laughs> yeah. were really nice, but it was just expensive for what you got. It's just because we're hungry people. <laughs> yeah, I just expected more for over 17 quid. <laughs> right, you ready to go? Yep. Yeah? We're gonna miss our castle view though. Yeah, goodbye castle. Bye castle. My bed, the biggest bed I think I've ever slept in. All right, let's go. All right, so we just checked out of our hotel and we tried to get um, some car hire. The company what we were gonna go with is actually run out of cars due to insurance matters of the bad treacherous weather because of the snow. I guess people keep writing them off. Uh, but we found a company which we can get a car from. We've got like a two hour wait until we can actually pick it up now. So we managed to leave our suitcase in the hotel and now we've basically got to wait two hours so we're just gonna go for a little walk might go back up to the castle and see what it's like in the day and holly's walking really slow behind come on whistle at me okay i'm cold now i absolutely love the sound of walking in like fresh snow it's almost like you know when you get cotton wool and you kind of like separate cotton wool, you get that weird like er, er, noise. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> this is where it happened. Oh uh, yeah, I'll show you now. Yesterday, you know I said Holly dropped her phone. She decided to drop it pretty much here and it fell like down there. You can't really see how steep it is, but yeah, it's pretty steep. They could have just fell and slid all the way down. <laughs> right, I'm pretty warm in my coat. My hands are cold. It was a good Should purchase. Two pairs of gloves. <laughs> As you know, we're staying like on the Ness River, which is where like Loch Ness lives. I think I just found where he's been going. I found little dragon footsteps. Look, Nessie's been walking through here. You know as well, when you live in a place like this, that the police 
like off-road vehicle is going to be like ultra hardcore they're going to be able to survive all the snow and the ice and the hills that's why the police drive these look at that <laughs> it literally looks like a hamster I can't imagine that it's going to be very good off-road in the snow <laughs> this is really cool it's like the ground's coming up the trees are ripping the ground up and Holly's taking pictures because she saw her mum's name on it. It says Lindy. Alright, so we've just gone back to the hotel, got our suitcase, and now we've got a, about half an hour walk to get to the car rental place. This snow isn't stopping. I'm a little bit, a little bit worried about hiring this car, just in case. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. We did see on the reception when we left that there's lots of road closures. But we like to live by these adventurous rules and find out for ourselves. Oh, all right, we made it too. Thrifty. I'm really hoping they give us one of these. Land. Oh, look at this. Just dragging the snow. I really hope we get a Land Rover. Luggage in. Do you want to put your bag in? Nah. I'll put it on the back seat. We don't know what car we've got yet. We we've got a 208. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a bit snowy. All right, so we've got ourselves a little Peugeot 208. 208. It's nice, new and gray. clean and shiny and grey. We just de-iced the, uh, well, de-snowed it. I think we know where we're going. Holly's set the sat nav up. Five yards. So where are we heading to? I can't count it. You can pronounce it. No. It took me about four attempts to spell it, so pronouncing it. Okay, so gonna... it's going to be an adventure. Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. All right, let's do let's this. Do this. Alright, so we've just found a little parking spot right next to the River Ness, Loch which is Ness. right there. Loch this Ness. This is a Loch now. Alright, this is where Loch Ness lives. We're going to do a little bit of Loch Ness binding. I want to grab him in a headlock and give him a nuggy. Sandwich? Sandwich. <laughs> yeah, and we're also going to eat some dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my word! Oh, this is a beautiful road! So we've just pulled into this amazing like, look over the river and at the very same time the adventure by Angels and Airways came on. This is getting amazing! <laughs> That was like impeccable timing. Like we're on this awesome, crazy adventure, and that song come on. So we're gonna go out and try taking some pictures over here, look, of this lake. And get your coat on, Holly. All right, so we just walked down to this little lakeside right by the water's edge, and this looks amazing here. The visibility's come back. It was really bad, like kind of foggy, real snowy, literally the other side of this lake, but. We've got some nice visibility now. I mean, look at that. How relaxing and calming. Oh, I love seeing like those silhouette shots as well of like this tree. I just think that just looks absolutely incredible. I took some nice pictures on my camera. I'm gonna upload them onto Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where I tend to put like my good looking pictures and stuff. So you can go find me on there, at Barbara360 on Instagram. Now Holly ooh, is waiting for me. Sorry. I'm kind of st ow! <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. Oh. 
back off the beaten track a little bit. Oh, Christ. It's part of the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our car, Holly. It, what colour even is that? I'd say it's kind of a brownie grey. So our little drive has taken us to a place called Fort Augustus. Yes. Fort Augustus. And typical me and Holly fashion, we haven't booked anywhere to stay tonight. We've just drove and we've got to this village and every hotel or B&B is all closed. None of them are open, no lights are on. There's no Wi-Fi, virtually no signal. So we don't really know what we're going to be doing. We're just going to keep driving. So we're going to We've have to drive. Nice warm car if all else fails. The next place we're going to is Fort William, which is like, 30 miles which away. Is like another 30 miles away. So hopefully we make it because it's dark now. Live in the adventure, baby! <laughs> yes. Yes. We just made it to, where are we? Fort William now. Mm -hmm. We've made it to Fort William. We survived the journey. Pretty treacherous conditions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, have another squidgy bit. Squidgy bit. We pulled into a car park because we haven't had signal for about an hour. So Holly's just on the 3G looking at places to stay for the night. And we need to make sure we get a car park space. Hence we've got a cheeky little car and also fast Wi-Fi so we can upload videos. I think fast is pushing it. Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Have you succeeded? We've got choices as well. Choices? Mm. Let's go to the first one because I'm running the wee wee. Right. So hopefully this is the place where we're going to be staying tonight, Holly. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> After me. Come on. A little fish tank. Right, so we've just been sent to have a look at the room. Hello. Number five. Light. Okay, how many beds do we want? One, two, three. TV. Is it alright? Do we have a shower? Do we have a shower? Do we have a shower? Awesome. That's right. <gasps> Sold. What? Kit Kats? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, see how, how much? Yeah, let's go book it, awesome. I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, righty, righty. We, uh, we did decide to go in that hotel. They only charge 50, 55, oh gosh. <laughs> 55 pounds for the night, which included breakfast. Oh, it's getting windy. Now we just drove back into town to try finding some food. I don't know what we're going to find. We haven't really looked at anywhere. We're just going to go for a little stroll. Aren't we, Holly? Yeah. yeah. Just come into this rather traditional looking pub and we're playing, you know, the card game. It's not really a card game, beer mat game, where you got to throw and catch it. Check out this one I just did. Ready? You better be able to do it now. Pressure's on. This is called the 360 double not flip twist. Boom. You gotta do it now, Holly. Have a go. I can't do that. Just try it. Two hands. I've been practicing. No, you haven't. Nearly. Oh, amazing. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Oh, it's all together, right? So just yeah, just chuck it down, it's fine. We can sort it out. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Amazing. Pakora, pizza, chippies, and you got a curry, which is on its way. Never mm -hmm. mind. How was your pizza? My pizza was okay. Okay? Not just okay. It was rather. It was okay, I'll give it a five and a half out of ten. Oh, only five and a half? Oh, okay. Only five and a half. Where did all these come from? That's Postman Pat's workshop. Were they there Look, before? There. Yeah. Royal Mill Depot. Wow. Well, I, never. <laughs> I did not notice them. What would you give your... <laughs> oh, I thought you stopped recording, huh? <laughs> what would you give your curry? 
for seven. Maybe hmm. seven point five. Oh, so that would average out around the six mark. Six, six and a half. Yeah. Not too bad. Last night's one was better, but yeah. it's still pretty good. Yeah, my pizza the other night from ZZ's was a hell of a lot better. Oh yeah, the your pizza. <laughs> Our pizza, all even shared. Right, we're gonna get it back. Try again in an early ish night. Oh, all right, dudes and dudettes. Hello. We've made it back to our little room. Cute little room. There's Holly. She's pretty cold, so she's hugging the radiator. <laughs> it's not even cold in here. No, it's not even cold in here. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, we are going up the gondola, which is like a ski lift, like up a mountain, which should be pretty epic. Hopefully the visibility is good. Weather dependent as well, because if it's really bad, snowy weather's overnight, it means it's basically closed and we can't go up there. But then we're in the afternoon, we're then going to drive to Aviemore, which is in the Kengorm region. Kengorm National, National Park. And then are we going up the little thing then? And hopefully we'll be on the train the day after. Weather dependent. Okay, then the day after, there's like a train which goes up that mountain. There's like a cafe food place at the top of there but we don't know it's all weather dependent because it's all like random snowy blistery blizzardy conditions at the moment we just don't know we just don't know we're just <laughs> playing everything by ear um i hope you've enjoyed today's little adventure fun driving through the snow and blizzard and all that sort of stuff so please come back and see us again tomorrow where we will be right back here same time every day living this adventure please come back please come back um, yeah, so all I'm going to leave you with now so is three important words, which are stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome, and until tomorrow, hopefully we'll see you again. Goodbye! <laughs>